everyone, it's Rihanna again, second year SRNA, and today I'm here to make a video about something that a lot of people have questions about, and that is how exactly do you get into CRNA school and what are the steps you need to take to get in. Now I'm breaking this down into six easy steps. I made another video about my personal journey to CRNA school, which I'll link below in the description if you wanna watch that, but this is just gonna be a factual down to business video. So let's get right into it. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get your BSN, your bachelor's in nursing. Every CRNA school requires that you have your bachelor's in nursing, so you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and get that. Now you can do associate's degree in nursing and then a bachelor's in nursing, or you can go straight to your bachelor's in nursing. It's totally up to you. Now, after you have your bachelor's in nursing, you can go on to step two, which is get a job in the ICU. You're gonna need one to two years of ICU experience to apply to CRNA school. Um, to be very competitive, you really need two, but some schools have a minimum requirement of one. I recommend you get a job in a surgical or cardiothoracic ICU because CRNA schools really like that experience. It really relates to anesthesia, but any adult ICU will count. If you're looking at PICU or NICU, you're gonna to have to look at the specific schools you're interested in because some accept that experience and some do not. Now you're working in the ICU and you're ready to move on to step three. Step three is research CRNA schools that you're interested in. And I highly recommend while you're doing this, you keep your options open to different areas and consider different schools. I recommend you apply to three to five schools because it's just so competitive. Now you're gonna to wanna to research CRNA schools before you move on to the next steps because you're gonna to want to know what your prerequisites are for the individual programs you're applying to. If you need to take more science classes, if you need the GRE, and if there's anything else you need to do that they require. Now that brings us to step four, which is study for and take the GRE. Every school does not require the GRE, but I highly recommend you take it because it just really keeps your options open and the only thing it can do is strengthen your application. If they don't require it and you went ahead and took it anyway, it just shows that you took initiative and that you're going the extra mile. Now, after you get your GRE, you move on to step five and get your CCRN. And the reason I put CCRN after the GRE and not before is because you need 1,750 hours in the ICU to take your CCRN. So while you're getting those hours accrued, you can go ahead and take your GRE. So to take the CCRN, you get your 1,750 hours of critical care experience, and during that time you'll be studying ICU stuff, and then you go take the examination, pass, and your CCRN certified. Now after you've completed steps one through five, that brings us to step six, which is apply to CRNA schools. It's what you've been working for this whole time. So when you apply to CRNA schools, like I said, keep your options open, apply to several CRNA schools. It's a big process, you have to submit so much different stuff, resumes, CV, essay, GRE scores, transcripts, letters of recommendation, all kinds of stuff. So my biggest tip for applying is to stay organized. Staying organized will make it so much less stressful. All right, everyone, that was the six steps on how to get yourself into CRNA school. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. I hope it helps you out in some way. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And if you have future video recommendations, leave those below as well. And if you're not already a subscriber, feel free to subscribe because I put out new videos every single Sunday and I'm documenting my journey through CRNA school so you can follow along with me and I'll see you very soon.